In everyday life, measuring the time interval is very common, whether it is while bike riding and measuring lap time. Or, maybe while cooking, the timer is an indicator that food doesn't become overboiled. Or, in industry applications some time-dependent actions are required. Thus, in software applications timer is one of the most often used instructions. In TIA portal, there are three most used timers, on-delay timer, off-delay timer, and pulse timer. Now let's have a look at the on-delay timer. Timer is triggered by a push button, and an indication lamp is connected to the timer output. Once the trigger is activated, the timer starts counting predefined time. In our case, it is 3 seconds. With this timer trigger shall be applied for a longer time than predefined time in order to activate an output. In order to properly set up a timer, it is important to know what timer parameters are. Each timer has a name, and an instance shall be defined. Input arguments of timer instruction are in, used to trigger timer, and pt, where is defined preset time for time counting. At the output arguments there are q, which is timer output and et, where is indicated elapsed time, or remaining time while time counting. Next one is the off delay timer. Once the trigger is activated, output is activated at the same time. After trigger is released, output will remain activated for time that is predefined in argument PT. In our case, it is 3 seconds. By trigger release, every time elapsed time being reset and starts counting from beginning. Finally, there is the pulse timer. The instruction started by the positive signal edge of the trigger. Time counting begins when instruction starts. Timer output is set for the duration of predefined time at the parameter PT, regardless of how long the trigger has been activated. Even if a new trigger is detected, the signal state at the timer output is not affected as long as the PT time duration is running. Let's now demonstrate usage of the timers in TIA portal. We can create timer instruction in main routine. At the right side there are library with instructions and under basic instructions there are timers. With simple drag and drop we can insert desired timer. Automatically it opens window where is required to define instance. In this example we keep automatically generated number of instance and we just define symbolic name. After this we can find instance created and placed in folder program resources. Important is to populate the value for PT parameter to define what time interval timer has to measure. Beside this we also need to define the trigger and status of the timer which are digital signals or booleans. These signals later will be used in the program logic. Also it is recommended to define appropriate symbolic names for these signals. In the same way, it creates instructions for the other types of timer. Also, for every timer that is created, there is a corresponding instance generated. Now to test functionality, we can download it to the PLC and have a look online. It is possible to force the trigger in order to demonstrate timer functionality, but regularly, triggers shall be programmed by program logic. Simultaneously monitoring timer instance and timer instruction we understand that instance is actually assigned memory location for timer purpose. So that was it. I hope you have enjoyed it. Write comments down below, and if you like this video click the like button, subscribe and bell. See you next time.